This is the second video in the series that Kyle requested. This one's about compound inequalities, which is really, uh, we refer to them as cat dog. So in these, we have two inequalities set up because of the nature. Uh, there's a inequality here and an inequality here. Now, just like in a cat dog situation, I'm going to keep that middle part because that's the body of cat dog. And then I'm just going to show one with one head on the left side and one with the other head. So I'm going to do keep the whole middle when you do this one too. In fact, it might be easier to start off by writing the middle down twice. That might make it easier. So from here, I'm just solving simple equations. Uh, minus 7 uh, gives me negative, um, I don't know why I wrote a 1 there, it should be 20, negative 24. Now, I'm dividing by a um, positive here, so I don't have to flip the inequality over. So r is greater than or equal to negative 3. And I, I know that it's greater than or equal to because I'm reading it from the variable side. On the other one, those cancel. 31 minus 7. This might actually be very convenient. Gives you positive 24. I'm going to divide by 8 on both sides. So it worked out that I just happened to get uh, negative 3 and positive 3. So at my uh, negative 3, I'm going to go up and make a circle. I'm going to fill it in because it's uh, greater than or equal to, and it goes this way. At my positive 3, I'm going to go and make a circle, fill it in because it's less than or equal to and then I'm just going to connect the two parts together. That's all you have to do on that one. Let's look at another one. This one is the same type of thing. There's two inequalities here. So I'm going to keep this part. Sorry, for some reason my uh, pen's not taking. There we go. I'm going to keep this part where I can use it. In fact, it might be easier for me if I just wrote that down twice. 2m plus 2 and 2m plus 2. And I'm going to write down one end and then I'll go down and write down the other end. From here I'm just solving equations. So I have times 2 so I divide. m is greater than um, negative 6. This is a positive 2 I'm dividing by so I don't need to flip that thing over. Bring down negative 2 and divide by 2 here. There's the line I forgot to draw. Uh, negative 2 divided by positive 2 gives you negative 1. And this stays as less than or equal to. So I've got m is greater than negative 6, but less than or equal to negative 1. By the way, all of these so far that I've done have made barbells, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll stay that. They're always that way. Oftentimes they're facing away from each other. In this case, I've got uh, m is greater than negative 6, so I don't fill it in, but I do shade. And the other one is less than or equal to negative 1. Well, I can fill this right in and then go down and shade it in nicely. So that's all that you really have to do to follow it through. Um, should be able to solve them this way. Just in case you need to see it, one like the next one on this section, this is just two different problems, but you end up solving it and making one graph. That's why the or's there. So in one case, I'm just solving this equation. And the equations don't really crisscross all that much. Usually if it's an or question, you'll tend to get that uh, arrows go away from each other thing that we've been kind of trying to avoid in the last few problems for some reason. Now you want to divide by negative 10. I am dividing by a negative here, so I do need to flip over this inequality. On the flip side, you want to add 8. You get negative 9 divide by a positive 9 and x is less than or equal to negative 1. I'm going to make a circle at negative 1. I'm going to make another one at positive 6. They're both filled because they have this line underneath the inequality. So that means equal to also so you include that in there. And like I said the negative 1 is um, less than negative 1 so it goes towards the smaller numbers. And the 6 goes up 
towards the bigger numbers. So that should mark out what you're looking for. So I hope that the video is helpful and you can now find an easier way to solve these problems without beating yourself up over it so much.